in it. Marvelous. Throwback Thursday featuring Jared, the host, is on now. This is Conker's Bad Fur Day, and I apparently still suck at uh, the N64 games. Uh, all I seem to do is fall off the cliffs for a bit. Um, released March 5th, 2001 for the N64, Conker's Bad Fur Day follows Conker the Squirrel as he tries to return home. Uh, spoilers. After getting completely wasted the night before, Conker wakes up in a strange land. Meanwhile, the Panther King requests uh, something to hold up his broken table. That end up, ends up being a red squirrel, which happens to be what Conker is. As Conqueror continues his journey, to find, he finds himself embroiled in a series of increasingly absurd and often dangerous situations, including to ha having to recover a beehive from some enormous wasps, confronting giant opera singing pile of poo, being turned into a bat by a vampire, getting trapped into a war between gray scrolls and Nazi-like group of teddy bears known as the Teddies, and finally being enlisted in a Don Weasel's Mafia. After a plethora of fourth wall breaks, a xenomorph, and a spaceship, Conqueror is declared the king of the land. Alrighty. Fact number one, originally a family-friendly title called Conker's Quest, critics said the game was too cute and too similar to their other titles. So Rare did what anybody would do and turned it into a profanity-filled and violent mature game, aka Conker's Bad Fur Day. Fact number two, Conker's Bad Fur Day was to have a direct sequel featuring Conker blowing all the kingdom's money on beer parties and hookers and then being sentenced to execution and then escaping. But of course it got cancelled. Sounds like it would have been a good game though. Anyways, fact number three, Chris Seavor provided the voices for all the male characters except for the Great Pooh, while uh, Louise Ridgway did all the female characters. So there's a total of three voice actors for all the characters in the game. Uh, fact number four, if you allow Conquer to sit long enough, he'll pull out a Game Boy and start playing Killer Instinct. The team that made Conquer also did uh, Killer Instinct. Fact number five, gameplay in Conquer's Bad Fur Day features parodies of various movies and games such as The Clockwork Orange, Terminator, The Wizard of Oz, Star Wars, Saving Private Ryan, Reservoir Dogs, Sonic, and Super Mario 64. However, a Pokemon reference did get removed from the game by during development by Nintendo. Uh, here's the review. There are plenty of opportunities for laughs in the game and a multiplayer section to play with your friends. Um, train navigation though, unless you have great timing on your jumps, you tend to fall down to the bottom of a ravine often. So um, once again, due to unplayability, I have to give it a 7 out of 10. Plot seems great though, I mean that's kind of one of the reasons why it gets a 7. Seems like it'd be a good game. And if you want to play the game, I hope you have better luck than I do. Uh, you can look up, it does have cheats, and they do have cheats to unlock all the chapters. So um, I did kind of look through them a little bit. I mean I didn't really play that much into them because I was kind of confused. But uh, it, like I said, it does seem interesting later on. So if you have any questions, comments, or just plain gibberish, put in the comments section below and come back next week for more Throwback Thursday in the Game Guardian's Genesis. You're coming this way. You can think again. Oh, you're a real charm. I just want to get past, please. No.